More Australians than ever before are finding themselves homeless, with the nation's housing crunch leaving fewer and fewer places to call home. There's a steady stream of government announcements about funding and trials to try and solve the issue, but there's overwhelming pressures from all directions. Worker shortages, skyrocketing rents, low vacancy rates and huge obstacles for young people to buy in. In WA, a new scheme is offering hope to the most vulnerable using innovative techniques to get more homes built faster. Kian Burke has tonight's special report. Kathy's been couch surfing and living in hostels since December after her landlord didn't renew her lease. And so you were left? Homeless, yeah, very homeless. Um, which is a horrible feeling because you, you really don't belong anywhere at all. It's a similar story for some of the more than 120,000 Australians experiencing homelessness, including many more women. When Cathy arrived at St Patrick's Community Support Centre in Perth South, searching for a roof over her head, a local architect was trialling an innovative housing solution, building homes and defying usual construction timelines with wall panels built en masse off-site and assembled like flat-pack furniture. The actual construction took nine months, which is pretty amazing. If this had have been done, say, in brick or whatever, it would have probably taken 18 months. For Cathy and 17 other older women who are homeless, it means getting the keys to turning their lives around much sooner. So there's the key. Thank you. Yeah. So put it in. It's really overwhelming. So it's really all... overwhelming, Michelle. <laughs> So it's got everything you need. It's really lovely. When the women move in, they'll have a stocked pantry and all the essentials. It's thanks to a team of community groups who came together to support the project, <laughs> donating goods and time. It's a partnership where public, private and community can come together to actually do the job of providing this housing because we can't rely on the government alone. It just takes too long. Homes are built on unused government land. Funding came from the government and private sector and the women moving in will be supported by St Pat's, which will act as their landlord. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Across the country, some estimates put the shortage of social and affordable homes in the hundreds of thousands, well beyond the capacity of any government to fix. It's a big ask and this is just 18 homes but it's projects like this which could be key to closing that gap. The states and territories are playing a really active role, but what we're increasingly seeing is a real interest in, from the private sector in contributing to the solutions to this problem. Michelle has five other sites waiting and just needs funding to get them underway. In my ideal situation would be that the government matches dollar for dollar subsidy for the private funders. In the meantime, Cathy's eager to move in. When you're home, you, you can actually breathe. You can actually sit there and go, well, the world's outside, it doesn't matter. It's home. It, it means that I've got a place. I'm looking forward to Christmas, just having a nice, just a nice place yeah. for Christmas, you know, as yeah. in a permanent nice place. The greatest gift of all, a place to call home. Keen Burke, ABC News.